fractions of a quantity. Here's a quarter of a 12. Let's appreciate this visually, shall we? Here's 12 little blue grapey things. Okay, for every four of them, I'm gonna turn one of them red. So for every four, one of them is going to be red. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So therefore you can see there are three red. So a quarter of 12 is three. Now to appreciate this non-visually, we just have to look at how many fours go to 12. Well, three do. So therefore one quarter of 12 is three. So we multiply the three by the one on top, still the same answer, which is three. Here we have a look at quarter of 24. How many fours go to 24? Six. Multiply that by the numerator. Six times one is six. A quarter of 24 is six. A fifth of 25, you might already know the answer. Notice here though that the of has gone. It's been replaced by the times multiplication symbol there. It means the same thing. How many fives go to 25? What's well, five? Multiplied by the one equals five. Here's three fifths of 25. You notice there's not a one on top now, it's the three. So we need to figure out again how many fives in 25. We should know it's five. Therefore, we just figured out that at one fifth is equal to five. Therefore, three fifths, we multiply the five by the three, which will give us 15. Three fifths of 25 is 15. Here we've got five eighths of 48. Well, how many eighths in 48? There are six, sorry, six. So one eighth is equal to six. We multiply the six by the numerator. Six times five, which is 30. Five eighths of 48 is 30. Three ninths of 27. How many nines in 27? Well, we know that three are. So therefore one ninth of 27 is equal to three. To find out what three ninths are, well, we go three times Three, which equals nine. Nice, well done. Wasn't that so much fun?